Hi there, it's Tim, and today I'm going to be reviewing the KBO Breeze. I'm going to ride around Victoria here, get some really nice, beautiful backdrops for you guys, and then share with you what I like and what I don't like, and why I think this might be just an amazing commuter for you. But before we go on a ride, I want to make sure we're all fueled up. So the KBO Breeze has a 500 watt motor at the back, which peaks out at about 750 watts. And it has a really big battery, a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery, which apparently will get people around 50 miles of range. Now obviously, you know, the more you pedal, the further you're gonna be able to go on a battery, but 16 amp hours for a, for a pretty light bike. Like it's 60 pounds, which means for picking it up and stuff like that, you can carry it upstairs, pretty simply. Anyway, let's keep going and I'm gonna show you some more really interesting features about the KBO Breeze. So one of the things I'm really loving about the KBO Breeze is the throttle on the actual handlebars. So of course you've got throttle assist or pedal assist while you're riding around and there are five levels of that, but on the actual handlebar there is a throttle as well. So if you prefer, you can ride around like a little moped or you can actually pedal and uh, set that up yourself. So as I mentioned before, it's about 60 pounds, 62 pounds or so. So as I said, pretty easy to lift up and carry up a couple of stairs. You don't want to be carrying it up too many stairs though. It's, it's, it's a bit unwieldy because it is so big, but it has a capacity or a weight limit of 300 pounds. So a big guy like me has no problems jumping on it. And that makes it really, really convenient. So as I sail around and ride around past this massive cruise ship behind me, I'm also reminded of the fact that it has really big tires. I think they're 27 and a half inches and they're a little bit wider. So you get a little bit more of a sort of cushiony ride as you're riding along. And speaking of riding along on cushiony style, it has a really nice set of suspension at the front here. So lots and lots of, in fact, let me just hop on and show you exactly what it looks like. But 80 millimeters of play there. Really handy for getting over those big bumps every so often, especially if you hit a pothole, that's gonna eat it right up. From my big guy throne, I wanted to share with you, there is in fact a key and able to, you're able to actually lock up the battery or remove the battery if you wanna just uh, lock the bike up and maybe just bring the battery upstairs to, uh, to charge up for the night. So just wanna share that with you. The KBO Breeze also has a seven-speed Shimano derailleur, which kind of is useful because, you know, if you want to just start and you want to, don't want to use any of the power from the bike or the, the battery dies, then you've got an opportunity to actually get up and down some hills without actually having to put too much work in. It's going to be a little slower, of course. The other thing is, which is adjustable is the height. So if you happen to have a, a spouse who's a little bit shorter than you are, this goes up and down super easy. And from these video clips right now, you can see Melissa's riding around, no problems whatsoever. And uh, she almost did kill herself. She almost went right off that cliff. <laughs> I'm gonna keep riding around now and uh, share with you my thoughts about what I like about the KBO Breeze and what I don't like about the KBO Breeze coming up next. Remember this? <laughs> so what don't I like about the KBO Breeze? And I'm not trying to be funny here, but I, I've been riding around Victoria here all afternoon and I can't think of anything. You know, everything, even the way it arrived to my home, it came in a box like every other bike I've reviewed, but everything, it just felt premium. Like everything about the packaging was really well done. It had zip tied everywhere, lots and lots of foam in the right places. There wasn't a scratch on it, like nowhere. There wasn't anything damaged. It just worked right out of the box. Now it came with a few extras. It came with all those little 16 in one tools. You know what, everybody seems to give those away. It's still kind of handy, right, to have. Came with a really big, um, uh, what do you call these things? Melissa, what would I call this? A few moments later. You know, I got a note on this. Let me find a note. It's called, oh, it's called a rear rack. <laughs> So it's got a really nice rear rack at the back, which like if you're doing food deliveries or if you're just trying to get, you know, parcels back from the post office or you're going to work and you want to put some, you know, panniers on it or something like that, I think that makes an awful lot of sense. It's got a nice little light at the front, 48 volt, which is kind of nice, nice and bright. It also came with uh, aluminum fenders as well or mud guards. You know, in a place like Victoria, I'd absolutely need those because it rains a lot here between like November and January. And you know, the Shimano 7-speed, uh, nice tires, comfortable handlebars, 
backlit LCD. The seat was actually, I, when I first saw the seat, I was like, oh, it looks kind of plain, but it's really comfortable. You know, adjustable seat, so Melissa can hop on here. There's really nothing I don't like, so it kind of turned into what I like about this. I think this is a really super duper cruiser type bike. It's not gonna be great for going off road, but you know, I don't go off road. I'm a city dweller, so I'm bouncing around the city all day long. So I think this is gonna work out really, really well. And if you don't have a ton of stairs, I think it's probably pr fairly light enough for people to carry up and down those stairs. Melissa and I are gonna go for a ride throughout Victoria. Just enjoy this beautiful spring day. We've already had a cheeseburger. We'll probably find some dessert. And uh, you know what, I just wanna wrap up here and share with you that the KBO Breeze is an absolute thumbs up from this big guy. If you're thinking of getting a, a bike for commuting, you're a bigger guy I, or a bigger girl, <laughs> I think this is absolutely wonderful.